Has this ever happened to you? It's late at night, you're ready for bed, and you notice something is wrong with your fish. Yep. Your fish is sick. You don't have any medicine on hand and the pet store is closed and the Amazon drones can't get to you. Well, if you answered yes, you're in luck because I'm diving into essential fish medicines for emergency situations. First up, we have antibiotics. These are crucial for treating bacterial infections in your fish. These are gonna be your broad spectrum antibiotic that's gonna treat things like body slimes, mouth fungus, open lesions and smelling on your fish, any bacterial gill diseases, and then random blood spots, but you don't see like there's any sign of blood damage on your fish. So basically if you see what looks like your fish is bleeding, usually these are gonna show up on the body, the eyes, the gills, or the base of your fins. If your eyes are bulging out, that would be Popeye, swollen abdomen, and then any, any discolorations in your fish is what these treat. For these, you have two main options that are readily available at most fish stores. One option, API erythromycin, which is effective against a wide range of bacterial diseases. Another good option is frithromycin that can help you combat a variety of bacterial infections you're gonna find in this lobby. Make sure you let me know your emergency go-to medicine in the comments below. Next up, you have your antifungal medication. This is what you'll need when you're treating your fungal infections in your fish. Things like cotton wool disease. For tests you covered here too, they have a product called Maricin Oxy. It's a reliable choice to help you combat the various pesky fungal infections that are gonna crop up. The Maricin we mentioned before can also be used to treat fungal infections, things like Popeye or just general fungus on our fish. And to make your life a little easier, I'm gonna be linking all the medicines mentioned today in the pinned comment and the description to make them so much easier for you to find. Most of the products mentioned in this video are gonna come in a powdered form. So it's one packet, per 10 gallons of water, which is why we recommend having a separate hospital tank so you're not dosing a whole 40 gallon tank. You're gonna typically wanna take your fish out and treat them separately away from everybody else versus trying to treat your whole tank because medicating fish that don't need it is not a good thing. If you medicate your whole tank and fish don't need the medicine, it slowly reduces the effectiveness of these medications. We see this in people that some antibiotics we used for 50 years are no longer as effective because the bacteria is just getting immune to a lot of the medicines we use. So at the same thing with the fish. If your fish doesn't need to be medicated, don't medicate them because it's going to slowly reduce how effective these treatments will be for you in the future. Up next, we have parasite medicines. Now, parasites can be a real nuisance in your aquarium. To tackle them, you'll need a good parasite treatment like API General Cure. This is gonna be a broad spectrum parasite medicine. This medicine is effective against a variety of parasites, including ick gill flukes and internal worms. Fritz also has multiple options when it comes to treating parasites. They have things like Expel P, Prosecleanse, Metroclense, Paracleanse. Each of these will treat something slightly different, but the chemicals in most of them are just in different concentrations. I'll quickly run down all the Fritz antiparasite meds. First up, we have Prosecleanse, which is 190 milligrams of proziquentanil, like skin flukes, tapeworms, wasting disease. Next up, we have Expel P, which is 113 milligrams of levamisil hydrochloride. And this is just your anti-worm medication. This is going to take care of things like roundworms, nodular worms, hookworms, anything that's going to be a worm parasite in your tank. This will take care of it for you. We also have MetroCleanse. This is 200 milligrams of metronidazole, which is something that can help take care of external parasites, ick, velvet, hexamidia. To save you a little money here when it comes to these, the one you should keep on hand for emergency purposes is going to be that Paracleanse since it's a mix of 250 milligrams of metronidazole and 75 milligrams of proziquentanil. It's a mix of the other medicines in one, which means it's a powerful option in treating a bigger variety of parasites in your fish tank water conditioner. We all know that water quality is crucial to our fish's health. And what's the first thing you do when your fish is sick? Yep, you make sure that fish has clean, fresh water first and foremost before you diagnose what's wrong with it. Get that fish immediately out of your tank into fresh water and away from your other fish. So in cases of emergency, it is essential that you make sure you have water conditioner on hand. My three recommendations for this are API Aqua Essentials, Seachem Prime, and then API Stress Coat. The Stress Coat is the one I would recommend out of the three of these for your sick fish just because it has aloe vera in it. So it's going to help reduce the stress on your fish. And with them being sick and you moving them into another tank anyway, they're going to be stressed out and it's going to help relax them a little bit. And these are products we should all already have. I know it's a little weird to have different types of the same thing. Personally, I keep API Aqua Essentials and API Stress Coat and I keep Prime. I use them all for different things. If I'm shipping fish, I use Prime. If I'm doing water changes, I use Aqua Essentials. And I'm slowly phasing the Prime out in favor of the Aqua Essentials just because I love API products. All these products do the same thing. They remove the chlorine and the chloramine. Some help to toxify the ammonia, the nitrate, and the nitrites in our tanks. And overall, they just make your tap water much safer for your fish and help your fish recover faster. We can't forget about aquarium salt. 
It's a versatile tool that we should all keep in our arsenal to help combat various medical issues and stresses and even some parasites. Just remember to use it cautiously and follow the instructions on the packaging. Most popular option is going to be that API aquarium salt. You can find it everywhere. We explored the benefits of aquarium salt in another video, so I'll put a card here now if you want to check that out. Today's your lucky day because you've stuck around this long into the video. I'm going to give you three bonus medications that you should have on hand just in case. And thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate it. First up, ick. It's one of the things you're going to see in this hobby. So I'm going to give you some recommendations for a good ick medication. Now, the common one is ickx or API Super Ick Cure. My personal new favorite, which was a recommendation by a man who's been keeping fish longer than I've been alive, is Corridon Ick Attack. And it's safe for fresh and salt water. The only reason I made the switch is because I noticed my quarries were struggling during the medicating process. Since I made the switch, I've had no issues at all with my quarry cats. The reason I like the Corridon better is it is 100% natural. It's an herbal form. Formula, so you don't have to worry about putting harmful chemicals into your fish. It can also be used to treat a variety of single-celled external fish parasites like protozoans, amoebias, and other things. It's also invert safe. It can be used with shrimp, snails, and crabs in your tank, along with corals and amoebas and polyps if you're a saltwater person. Two other products I swear by are APIs Pemafix and Melafix. These are more medicinal medications to take care of fungal and bacterial infections. I've had great success with these in the past. In fact, the sick fish you saw at the beginning of this video was treated and cured with just Pemafix and Melafix. The way I look at these is I think of these more as your over-the-counter cough syrup. Yeah, sometimes they're going to do the trick and nip whatever you've got in the bud. Other times you need to step it up and use that more powerful medication, which is when all these come into play. And you might prefer these over other things because these are going to be less invasive and harmful to your fish up front instead of just dumping chemicals down their throats. We've all been there. Sometimes the medications they put us on make us sicker than when we were off. If you're still craving fish medication information, here's a playlist you should check out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to finscribe and let's keep the conversation swimming in those comments. Thank you.